customizable. You can set this to as low as 2 or all the way up to 100 if you're just not really concerned with it. Uh, you can also adjust the, the punishment period up to a week or as low as just 15 minutes. Okay, so let's collapse this and move on down to member profile modifications. I'm going to skim over this and we'll do a separate video on this section. Uh, but just to give you a kind of a brief overview, this is providing you as a site owner with a way, and I recommend this option, number three, which is an iframe, which embeds a special form into any post page. You just copy this and paste it into a post or page. And this will put up a form. For example, you might put this into the login welcome page so that an existing member who already has an account can log in and have access to a page that contains this code which provides them with a form where they can update their email address, their, their uh, password, their first name, their last name, along with any custom fields that you, uh, you configured for registration. They will be able to edit those fields. So this is, this is very powerful, and I recommend this method, one, either this one uh, or number three, because we have plans to extend this in the future and make this even more powerful. Uh, in, a, in a future release of S2Member, we will be adding capabilities for short codes to be used and for these forms to be integrated more where they can uh, inherit the existing styles of your theme. So uh, as opposed, I recommend these methods as opposed to this option, which I want to discuss next. This is the default profile panel. Uh, by default with WordPress, everybody who has an account has access to this special page, and it's called profile.php. Uh, some themes have this built into their, their widget panel or even into their navigation by default. Uh, I don't recommend this for members, although S2Member by default makes it available. You, if you click on this link, you'll see why I don't recommend it. Um, it's themed with the WordPress backend look, and so it's not what I would consider user-friendly. Um, it would be better if you could include this form somewhere on the, the, the front end of your site so that it matches your theme. So going back over to the general options panel, let's take a look at this option. If we go down here to member profile modifications where we left off, it says, no, I want to leave all options available to my members. So by default, S2 member will leave, that, will leave access to that page open. But if you set this to yes, which is what I recommend, then what S2 member does is it, it, cre it, it creates the impression that that particular default profile panel does not even exist. And instead, it just redirects anyone who should try to access that page to the login welcome page. And I do recommend that. Uh, the standalone version is better, as indicated here, and this is the standalone version that we're referring to, this iframe or any of these versions here. Uh, this is discussed in more detail here, and also uh, we'll do a separate video on how to, how to, how to integrate this uh, into your WordPress uh, pages or into a post. Okay, so moving on down to deactivation safeguards. By default, S2 member assumes that you're not going to keep this plugin installed. Why does it assume that? Well, because it's a good standard to follow. For example, if you were to install a Windows program and then you were to uninstall it, well, you wouldn't want a trace of that program left behind after you uninstall it. Well, S2 member assumes that you're not going to keep it installed so that if you were to deactivate it from the plugins menu in WordPress, it would erase all of its roles, capabilities, your options, uh, and all the data associated directly with S2 member. I highly recommend that you don't leave it that way, though, especially if you're going to, to, to plan on using this plugin long term. What I suggest is that you set this to yes, safeguard all data options, and with this option set to yes, then if you were to deactivate this plugin inadvertently uh, during an upgrade to another version of WordPress or just temporarily for whatever reason, S2 member with this set to yes will preserve all of its data and options, its roles, cable, everything associated with the plugin. Uh, so this is very important and I highly recommend that you set this to yes. And then you just click save changes and all of the options that we configured here will be saved all at once when you click this button. And that is the S2 member general options panel. In the next video, we're going to go over the PayPal buttons and we're also going to touch on the PayPal Pro integration which comes with the S2 member Pro module. Uh, we're going to show you how to integrate PayPal Pro forms and also website payment standard buttons into the membership options page that we've just been configuring here in the general options for S2 member. So in our membership options page in the next video, we're going to take a look at that.